Welcome to the first ever edition of Bench Racing. I'm Brian Danforth with the pavement princess himself, Mr. Troy DeCare. <laughs> so, Go ahead. here we are. Um, some people know that we're doing this about, I don't know, eight, nine, ten people maybe? Oh, yeah, there's tens of people. Tens of people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah most of Polk County. Maybe 11? Okay, I'm, I'm with that. So we're, we're getting double digits. Yeah, oh, yeah. So uh, we've been wanting to start a podcast since, like, I don't know, November. We've been kicking around the idea. We finally decided to pull the trigger on it, and here we are in May <laughs> of 2020, and we're just now firing it off. It took a little bit. We're to late find, bloomers. Yeah, we're late bloomers. It took us a little bit to find an investor to buy all this stuff it's for It's not us. even really that. What is it, then? We don't know what the hell we're doing. No, we don't. See, I got this big I got this big board here that I can do all kinds of shit on, and I don't know how to do any of the shit on To this be board. honest, we've tried. Oh, yeah, we tried. No, no, we just don't know. Yeah. Like, we'd be better off with an iPhone <laughs> because we are so dumb. Yeah. We need a couple 12-year-olds in here to run this shit. Half of our uh, great topics of conversation come via drunk FaceTime. Yeah, hey, seriously. Yeah. Some of my best content's wasted on FaceTime with you. <laughs> so... Uh, the whole idea of bench racing is uh, we're going to sit around, and my feet are propped up right here on a, uh, on a cooler. I've got some, some cold beer. I won't tell what brand I'm drinking because they're not paying Unless me. Unless you're trying to pay me. Yeah. Y'all want to pay us, we'll, we'll pimp you out on the show. So I got a cooler full of cold beer underneath my feet. Troy, what are you sipping on? I got me a little uh, vodka energy drink. A little vodka Red Bull. No. What is it then? It's vodka energy drink. Oh, yeah, that's right, because uh, the energy drink that he's mixing it with isn't paying us. So he's got vodka energy drink, also yeah. known as a Tic Tac, if you want to yeah, order holler at, the bar. at me, Noss. Y'all sponsoring everybody. Yeah, here we go. Every damn body. Yeah. Holler about, at me. How about a little uh, How about a little vodka and bang? Probably make your heart yeah, explode. Give me some bang. I'm trying to, yeah. That'd be like an old. I'm trying old to go school. into cardiac arrest. That'd be like old school Four Loco. It's tied to energy drink in them. Four Loco, man. <laughs> I got some bad nights. <laughs> I remember my first beer. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> And four logos will make you wake up in the front yard naked and divorced. Fat chick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we're just going to sit around and we're going to drink beer and drink mixed drinks if you're Troy, and uh, we're just going to talk racing. And, I just uh, like, let's be honest, I just like maximum results, minimum effort. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, you want, you want to pee 75 <laughs> times. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> this is an hour long. Yeah. I have to run a catheter up here. Right. <laughs> so... Uh, we're just going to sit around and that, that hence the name of the show. We're going to bench race. I mean, we're going to, we're going to talk racing. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to have some people on, uh, apparently with Hopefully this. They don't offend nobody who likes benches. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, yeah. God damn. Yeah. So we're going to have some people on, uh, supposedly this, this fancy box that, uh, our, uh, investor, our silent investor has invested in, um, can hook up phone calls, and we've got some guests lined up, but we don't want to bring out the big guns on the he first show. may or may show. not be involved in tax evasion. Exactly. So we didn't want to bring out we, – we didn't want to hit a home run with the first show. We just want to get on base. Yeah, base knock. Yeah, a little base hit right at the middle, okay, right over the pitcher's head. Hey. And, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna fire it off with this one, just us. we got some, some, some good topics that we feel like. You guys probably won't feel like they're good topics, and you're probably going to hate us. But uh, we're going to talk about them, and no guest on the first show, but we got some guests coming up on the on the shows to come. Yeah, we got to make sure we don't suck too bad, you know. If we yeah. creep up in that 20 view mark, then, you know, we're going to start dropping fire. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we get in the triple digits. <laughs> yeah, don't let us hit 100. Yeah, and we get anybody who want to on this yeah, thing. I'm going to put this on MySpace. <laughs> so, uh yeah, uh, Troy's got our, our, our notes here from our... Uh, oh, I didn't get a board, so I got paper. Yeah, so he, he's got... We had a, about a three or four minute uh, production meeting, and then... It was super productive. It, it I mean, really I feel was. a lot better about it. I basically write down all the shit, like, don't say that, not allowed to say that, that'll get us kicked off, that'll get us banned, and I don't... The freedom of speech thing is kind of bullshit. See, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to say that other podcasts won't say. And other, uh, I guess you can call this a video cast, a, a Facebook show, a YouTube show. We don't really know what the hell we are or what the hell we're doing. Well, we're just trying to make it to that minimum deal to where you've watched long enough that your view counts. After that, we don't give a shit what you do, really. Exactly. X out of our video. Yeah. And I so, think right now it's good. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. All see right. ya. Well, 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 smell you, pal. Yeah, wait. So. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, everybody hated Bubba and Rush Limbaugh and all them, but most of the time they tuned in to see what the hell they were going to say just so they could size them up. So, really, I'm coming at all your head. Yeah. I'm, I'm just I, right off the rip, I want you to know, if you do something a little suspect, I'm coming for you. Yeah, like we're unloading off the trailer and, like, we don't even have to work. We don't have to wrench on our shit. No, we're just going like, to win hot laps. Yeah, we're going to win hot laps. That's all it's about. Yeah. Like, so. Oh, y'all don't remember hot laps? <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got the printout, player. Yeah, I mean, I, I, qualify, I qualify 20th, but if we can get back to how we were in hot laps, y'all are done. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, goat piss, run it. Yeah. I tell you what, if I'd have had five more laps, I'd have got oh, this yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. That's basically what the show's about. Yeah. I, oh, hey, man, I ran it. My brakes, uh, my throttle stuck. I was driving it with a toggle switch. Had it, my spotter, some bitch said I was clear. Like, what, what do you want me to do? I mean, he told me I was clear. I didn't mean to turn down on you. You sure you don't want to go to the Applebee's? <laughs> let's, just, let's just be, you know I don't run like that. You know, that's, you know that's not how I race, man. I don't race you like that. Exactly. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I believe you said something about off the air that we're going to win more races here than we lose. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, what do you do when you bench race? You, you win like, all of them. You're undefeated. I don't know if any of y'all know Joe Melnick on the local level. But that dude wins some races down at the beer shed. And really, I admire that because you're really only as great as the story you could tell. Right. Because, I mean, I was there. Yeah. <laughs> and I tell you what. This is how I remember it. Yeah, and I tell you what. He's got some good stories uh, from, his, from his adventures all over the, 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 the world <laughs> doing the sprint car stuff. And I've got some pretty funny stories from, from the go-kart days and, and some race car stuff, too. But that's, that's more on a local level. Uh, but I, I did a little bit, a little bit, a lot of bit of traveling with the go-kart stuff. And I've got some, some, wild, some wild shit to tell there. So, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and, and kick it off with the first ever topic on bench racing. God, I'm so excited. All right, so here we go. The first ever topic on the bench racing with Brian Danforth and Shorty Care is wearing your own shirt. Can you wear your own shirt? No. Troy, I'm going to ask you. Never. Is it ever no. okay? To wear you better stop it. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. Never any situation. Why would you do that? I'm asking. Don't. Listen. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Absolutely not. <laughs> Go ahead. So, no. <laughs> so has Troy to care ever wore a Troy to care shirt? No. Not even when you were 19. No. No. Okay. So in no way, shape, or form is it ever okay to wear your own shirt? I just no. It's, it's one of those unwritten rules. You know what I mean? Like some people, it, it it's up there with green's bad, which I think is stupid. Uh, <laughs> you know, peanuts, whatever. It, no, you don't. You don't do it ever. So let's talk about this. How about a guy who's not a big time guy? He is. No matter what time guy. Not no time. All. No? Never time. What about. Never worry. What about Leroy? I don't give a shit about Leroy. Works at the sawmill. Sawmill. Runs. Who the hell works at a sawmill? Okay. Leroy works at Mosaic. He's a phosphate miner. I don't know what Mosaic is either. And he runs V8 bombers on asphalt. All right? And he scratched and saved every penny he had for... He probably went out there and hit the pace car. <laughs> That's what he did. He scratched and saved for two years... To save up enough money to buy some custom shirts with his magnificent big body Monte Carlo from affordable screen print and embroidery. And he don't take the son bitch off. What's wrong with that? Everything. I mean, where do I start? Oh, I don't know. I need you a new sheet of paper. I need that. a new sheet of paper. I mean, you just don't do it. Like, if you're the Team owner, like, there's some loopholes. We already went through this before. We've had many discussions about this off air. And him and a couple other people who run three-digit numbers that look like Hot Carl Chassis out there. <laughs> and, yeah, that's not a shot at Hot Carl. We're honestly trying to play off you, player. You got a bunch of views. Yeah, we um, love Hot Carl. Yeah. I mean, uh, I just don't – I don't know. I was just taught in – and you. I know you're going to throw in the, you know, it's an open-wheel thing or whatever – I, uh, yeah, Fender guys think it's an open wheel thing. I mean, w unless you're getting paid to wear it, like you just don't you don't do that. Like, or if you're the 
uh, team owner, like Richard Childress can wear an RCR hat because that's a, you know, that's like, you know, Robert Kraft wearing a Patriots shirt because yeah, it's the team. It's the thing. You could do a team or a company or an organization. You just can't wear your own. So basically, it's not about me. It's about the team. Exactly. So if you wear your own shirt, that's like talking in third person. It's been rumored that you talk in third I, person. I damn sure don't talk in third person. You've never heard me talk in third person. I have it, but why? Is I know, that such cut, a like, like you sound like, like Yoho. You sound like Randy Savage. You sound like like some cartoon character. Nobody, Johnny Bravo. You don't talk in third person. That's like Joe Dirt. It's silly. It's, it's just. But why is it rumored that Troy DeCare talks about Troy DeCare in third person? I don't. Why is that a rumor? I have no idea. There's a lot of rumors about me. I don't understand. I hear some shit about me. I'm like, damn, man, I'm a lot cooler than people think. <laughs> I'm not that yeah, cool. You're really, you're really pretty lame. I'm a lame guy. But you sit at home and run eye races. Yeah, and I, I just like, <laughs> I just, I mean, to me, wearing your own shirt is like wearing your football or baseball jersey backwards. You know what I mean? Like trying to see your name. Everyone wants to see, like, nobody gives a shit about that. So you're making it about you and not about the team. It's right. That's what I'm saying. Like, it just, you don't, I don't know. Just don't do it. So, you don't do it. So, in summary, to summarize, in conclusion, I feel like I'm writing an essay here. I, I don't really have that much of a problem with it. I mean, if you're going to spend the money and, and get your own shirts, then by all means, go ahead and, it's and just, pimp I mean, them you out. You seem like your own fan. And, like, if you wear your own shirt, I mean, one, the main thing I have against it, that's uh, one less I can sell. <laughs> If yeah. I'm wearing it, and if you're if you're going to bed wearing your own shirt, like come on, like I I don't know the deal, I don't know where it came from. I don't, there's Twitter accounts started about like where people have taken photos of of certain cats wearing their own shirt at like drivers meetings and stuff, and I'm just like, you look like you're your own like you're rooting for yourself. Like right. hey man, hey man, who who you got on your shirt there? You're like Bobby Labonte. Hey, who's on your shirt? Me. Who the hell? Who the hell's that? Me? Me is you. Ricky yeah, that's Bobby. what I'm saying. You, <laughs> and what a dumbass he looked like, right? Yeah. Had uh, Karen on the hood. Just yeah, wasn't a good deal for old I, Ricky. I, just, I mean, I see. Here's the thing. You ever go to these go kart tracks? Or I mean, you see it in a lot of things, but you see go kart tracks. He's these kids wearing their own shirt, and and it's not like a Brian Danforth motorsports shirt. It, it's like Brian Danforth with a picture of his car on there, and it's like. That's not even that poor kid's fault. He don't. That's just bad parenting. Like that's just <laughs> that dad and mom. They need to be smacked in the mouth. Yeah. Like you just don't like don't teach your kid that early. Now now that kid's going through life. He's gonna wear a two piece fire suit to Denny's. Like, <laughs> and he's gonna have his two piece fire suit tucked inside of his racing shoes. Oh yeah, he probably drives a a bread truck with the door open like a <laughs> UPS guy. Like uh, parking uh, at, parking at the the Waffle House. All right, so. Troy's 100% against it. If you're like a, a, a big-time guy, like you're well-known, I mean, you probably should do totally it. Totally different deal. Like you a, can't a even local, bring in the old school cats. A local, a local guy, whatever. Now, one little stipulation here before we wrap up this topic. There are you've, – you've said off air that there is some guys that it doesn't matter because they've won so many damn races, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. But you know what? You probably still never seen him do it. But yeah, if you're Jack Hewitt, what are you going to say to Jack Hewitt? Now, Nothing. I I know what you can do. You can kiss his dick. You can, and if you get the chance, he's going to. He damn right, he's got time for you. <laughs> you got but, time. For that's what I'm, but I mean, if you're Buzzy Rudiman, if you're, if you're, I mean, once you get to like immortality or legendary status, when you're going to be in multiple Hall of Fames, nobody can question what you do. But like I said, those guys don't do that. Yeah. I mean, somebody's probably paying them to wear whatever they wear. Because but, it's in the book that's unwritten. It's not it's exactly. That you, the, the, this book, this mysterious book that you speak of. It's just, I mean, there's just unwritten rules to this deal. I got you. I mean, like. I'm with you. It's just don't do it. I hear you. So, moving on. Parents, don't do that to your kids. Don't don't make your kid. Gross. Be, don't, make, <laughs> don't make your kid get put. On a social media page that make well, it fun and I of feel them. bad because then I got to see an eight year old and I'm like, hey man, don't do that. Your mom's an idiot. <laughs> and then now I'm a bad guy. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to help that kid. I'm <laughs> out here 
it's like flamp. What's philanthropy? Whatever. Philanthropy. Yeah, I think a, philanthropy. That's a, philanthropy yeah, that. That's an SAT word. Yeah. I don't we, read. We, we didn't score very many high on that SAT. I don't read much books. <laughs> Words are hard. Words are hard sometimes, especially after a couple of these. My tongue gets all heavy. But <laughs> staying, staying on track here, just like I said, I don't know. Just don't do it. Just don't push the issue. Yeah. No, I'm with you. All right, so – Moving on to the next topic, and this is a topic that me and Troy have. Did we kill enough time? I feel like we're running out of shit to say already. Oh no, we got we got we got time for that. <laughs> so, uh, we me and Troy have talked about this off topic, or I'm sorry, off air. All right, and this is something that I have dealt with my whole life in all forms of racing. Go karts and dirt cars, not not a whole lot of asphalt stuff, but tire dope. Okay, mm. so tire dope is something that has been a part of racing for a long time, and it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. You know, Blue Ridge Labs, which I think me and Troy can agree, Blue Ridge Labs are probably mess up an AIDS test. Absolutely. So, but you know how to not get AIDS? You just don't get tested. Can't have AIDS unless you get tested. <laughs> Clinically, yeah. I, again, I don't make the rules. Yeah. <laughs> That's how this shit works. So, um, tire dope. So I have been with some teams on dirt that, and we're talking about big cars now. Obviously, go karts. That is chemical warfare. Like it's nothing but tire dope for the most part. Actually, for all the part. I mean, you got to be able to hold the steering wheel That's straight. It. Yeah, you got to be able to pr- turn a, a steering wheel to the left a half an inch. But other than that, I mean, so tire dope, I've been a part of it with some teams on the dirt. And obviously, it's more prominent on the dirt than it is the asphalt. Now, on the dirt. Oh, it happens on asphalt. Oh, I know it does. But I get on, accused of it all the time. But on asphalt, it's called what? It's called Condition. Conditioning. Exactly. Oh, yeah, because it says right there on the hot lap bottle, that's worth two tenths. Exactly. Hell, and, and I thought I, black wheels were worth two tenths. I thought, I thought a carbon fiber body and a cool helmet was worth two tenths. If I add up all these two tenths, I'll be three seconds ahead of the field. <laughs> so, I've used tire dope, got caught using tire dope, was with a team that we lost a big race recently with tire dope, and... It's just one of them deals where we felt like if we Did you were, feel good while you were prepping those tires? Did it no, make you feel good? No. We felt like if we didn't prep, we were wasting our time. Oh, is that right? Yeah, because... Everybody else is using steroids. Well, the nights... I can't that, hit a home run without steroids. The night, King Griffey Jr. did it. The, the nights that we didn't prep, we went out there and stroked the goat. Well, when's the last time you guys dropped the rags and picked up some wrenches? Well, we do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my take on it is I don't like that it has become so prominent in in dirt car racing, but I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. No, but here, I mean, the main thing I hate about it is you get married to it. Yeah. It's just like if you do anything that involves cheating, Mm -hmm. um, and we all put, I mean, it's the first thing you do, when you build a, a modified or a sprint car, a midget, go car, anything, the first thing you do is download the rules, mm-hmm. and then you know go through them, and then you figure out everything you can do to give the tech man a hard time, and then you know, but I mean that's what racing and the ingenuity of it's about. But I feel like tire dope takes away from that because these guys are not working on their race cars; they're trying to figure out like, okay, well if I prepped and won. And then the first time they don't prep and they don't win, it had to be tire prep. It wasn't the fact that they didn't work on this or work on that. It's just you get you get in this stupid merry-go-round of like, you know, how much, when to do it, and then you get it's just this vicious cycle. I hate it. Like, so it's so it's a band aid essentially. It's absolutely it's a huge band aid because I like, and then not only that if you prep too much then like you're gonna have to work on your car to do other things and then when you go run a series that won't let you tire prep. You're, you're out to lunch, and you can't figure it out, and it's like, you know, and I know there's no way around it or no way to figure it out. Like, can't impound everybody's tires, and everybody's 
going down there right before the race or do, you know, it's just too much and, and too much to police. And they've tried, I've seen a million barcodes and powder inside and everything that, remember that year of Daytona, there was a big cluster fucking to grid. Everybody's trying to put their tires on. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. You had to turn your tires in at the end of every night that year at Daytona, just a quick little nugget here. We actually ran really good. And my, my business partner, Dwayne actually won Daytona that year. We were. I'm gonna have to see that on right. No, he won limited that year at Daytona. Oh, did he? Yeah, limited modified. No, I'm just um, so it was actually the first ever Wayne Pool race. Um, we were wiping simple green because they said you can only use simple green and water. We were literally soaking the tire in simple green and putting it in the tire warmers. That's crazy. I- I'm telling you, like, but but I mean, it was legal. Like they had guys walking around to every trailer, like smelling stuff. Oh, I, dude, I remember it. I remember like going to Daytona for the go karts and. Like, when a camp would hit on it, you know, they'd all jump in there. And then when they were at the grid, people were over there stealing their, their whatever cup they had off their off their table and then taking it back. And everybody turned into, you know, CSI. Like, well, oh, I think I smell Ben Gay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everybody, run to CVS. We need a, t- a tube of Ben Gay. Uh, some rubbing alcohol uh, yeah, and some yeah. Vaseline. And chop, chop. Pick some Funyuns up, too. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Hey, we're out of beer, boys, too. Grab a case. <laughs> but, like. And I hated it because and this is why I hate go-kart racing. And we'll get into that in a minute. I mean, I really hate it. And I come from go-karts, but it's just, it doesn't seem as organic as it used to. But like when I think about tire prep, like I said, I th- to the steroids topic, like it, if you worked out with steroids, then you're like, then you worked out without it. You're like, well, shit, this ain't the same. I can't do it without it. And then, you know, you got everybody walking around here with size 12 heads like Barry Bonds. And then, you know, you you get into this, oh, man, God. Like, for real, this makes me sweat. I'm sweaty. Yeah. I hate tire prep. You get fired up. But, like, okay, here. When you buy uh, or when you make a setup sheet, you see caster, camber, bump steer, cross, you know, the wheel space. You don't see nothing that says tire prep on there. Hey, how about this? If tire prep is so a part of racing, how come it's not on iRacing? How come you can't? You can't be like, okay, I'm gonna put 52 percent cross, uh, three rounds of goat piss. Uh, it's because it's not. You want to know why? Because it's fake, bullshit. Well, it's not fake. I mean, it's a real thing. It's real. F- oh, now, now let me let me say this. You've been a part. We, 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 I don't know if we need a name drop here, but you've been a part of some dirt lake model teams, some pretty prominent, pretty known dirt lake model teams. I've only been a part of one dirt lake model team. And now you're out here, you know, blasting folks. Well, f- I mean, shit. He's got I was shot guy. Him. You were shot guy, I, but I he didn't got wipe no tires. But either way, what I'm saying is, but they did it. I know, but I mean, I want. Like I said, luckily for me, on the pavement side, it's okay. I mean, I know it helps in qualifying. I've seen people doing low five hundred. It helps fire off. Um, maybe if you got to come through a heat race, so you don't end up in the B main or. Do, but for forty laps or fifty laps or whatever we're running. If, if usually you have tire day, it's gonna run. It, it's just gonna run them off. I know people think they control like wheel slip and all this, but I mean, I think any real racer hates tire prep because what tire prep does is glorify these guys who figured out something or helped somebody who knew something, and now that guy's walking around like he's a goddamn crew chief. Like, yeah. they say, you ain't no crew chief. Yeah, you gotta pay me four hundred dollars. Yeah, you a smell week. like you work at a nail salon. <laughs> you ain't no crew chief. You're you're a tire prep like. Tired guy. You, so you're saying this guy's got jeans that his wife won't let, like. Yeah, you get, smell funny. Get out back. You got to get naked before you come in the house. You're coming to the house. Yeah, you got to pressure wash them in the driveway. It's, it, tire prep's out there giving every 10-year-old and go-karting cancer because your dad's like, wipe them damn tires. Or we got to go up there. They're calling us to the grid. We don't got no time to put gloves yeah, on, damn cre- it. Yeah. Get the creosote. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting here and you're like, okay, we, isn't this illegal? Like, and not even in racing. I'm talking in, like. The EPA in uh, OSHA or somebody. Uh, yeah. if, they, if they went to Jasper, Florida during a national, uh, <laughs> somewhere around 1998, they'd be locking up 11-year-olds with a half gallon of creosote. <laughs> somebody told me one time they said uh, we were at... Too much pine tar on your bat. <laughs> we, we were at uh, Daytona at stadium back in the day for the go-kart, the, you know, the Dirt World Championships or whatever, and... Um, Somebody said, you know, if they come up, 
uh, you know how Men in Black had like a little dirt scooper? They're like, if they brought one of them damn Men in Black scoopers out here, the EPA did, and they took a sample of this track, they'd shut this son of a bitch down in the morning. It's terrible. <laughs> like I just hate it because, like I said, any real racer, anybody who's a, you know, spent the time to learn to weld, spent the time like figure out bump steer, Ackerman, like. You these can't guys, spell Ackerman. Yeah, as I've seen these guys out here, like, you know, uh, at, at, what the hell's Ackerman? He's like, no, I'll tell you what you do. You get a, get a can of Lysol and, and, you, and some baby powder. And then, you know, like, no. And then you got to, oh, you got to you gotta start working on things two months ahead of time. You got to do it. No. Yeah. Work on your car. Like, and, and it, it really robs from. The genuine if, crew genius. If you're a traditionalist, like, if you're, if you're a racer, like, the ingenuity, the craftsmanship, like the pride, like, no, next thing you know, you're in there, you got your tires in the oven, your mom's trying to run you out of the house, you're sitting here make, <laughs> making the whole house smell like a damn hazard zone. Like, it's just terrible. <laughs> like, you got black streaks all over the grid. Like, this is just awful. You yeah. Know, you're sitting here like, oh, I'm about to eat a ham sandwich. Damn it, I touched the tire. Like, can't <laughs> eat. it's bad. It's bad. I don't like it. So. I hate it. I but, mean. I guess to kind of summarize, we've both been a part of teams that, that tire dope. You've never personally tire dope, so you say. No, I mean, I have, but not, not in sprint cars. We're talking, uh, we're talking about big cars. In big cars, uh, when I was driving? Okay, I mean, when you were driving, how about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I've done it at like Chili Bowl and stuff like that. Um, I, I, and I've tried it when I first started uh, because I came from go-karts and I was like, hey, I'm gonna show these guys. Like I'm a, but I mean I'm over here prepping you stuff, and I find out a sticker rolls off just about as good as any tire prep you could figure out. And I was like, well, maybe if I, you know, logged a few more hours this week at the yeah. sawmill, <laughs> I could get me some tires, and then I don't have to tire prep nothing. Uh, but that's just how I, I just I hate it because I have fallen in love with shocks for one, uh, and like I spent every year I tried to you know, I focused on you know opinion angle I, I spent a year on uh, on learning you know some of, like anti dive or or learning you know how to maybe set y'all like do some things um mechanically because that's what when you were the man at indy in the 50s you used to say driver and then you say like chief mechanic or you know just mechanic and like i think that's what it's about it's about you know your hands wrenches tools like these guys spend too much time developing these chassis and these shocks and these suspension like everything for somebody to go out there and wipe some bullshit on your tires it really makes me angry yeah so i mean i i hate it but like i said the, the guys that i've been with on dirt we we've done it just to you know to because we felt like we had to do it to keep up um but that's going to bring us to another topic and and, and, and you know, just to kind of to wrap my portion of this up, I mean, I I don't like it, but as far as big cars go, go karts. I mean, obviously, you got to do it to even you 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 have to like. If, that's why go karts are a waste of time, and that's what that's what we're about to go into. But as far as big cars stuff on the dirt, like we we did it just to because we we felt like that we had to do it just to keep up with everybody else because we knew they were doping. I mean, we walked into my trailer that got a damn rotisserie set up on the front counter, and it's just. It's just tire dope is just it, it, it's uh it seems like a, a a vicious it's cancer. It's a vicious endless cycle almost. It's terrible. So that brings us into our our next topic and, and Troy just kind of touched on it with the go-kart thing. So kids in karting. Now you always see on Facebook that the junior classes are the the lifeblood of karting, the 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 future of karting. Okay, I sound like uh, the guy from South Park, Mister Garrison. Hmm, it's, a bunch of, it's just a bunch of dads out there trying to out dollar the next guy. So, which is every bit of racing, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Pay, so paying the best tire guy. <laughs> so, kids in karting. I I I started off the tire prep deal, so I'll let you start this one off. So kids, kids in karting. Is there anything positive think, about it? I know, and it was really like, and I come from go karts. I went straight from go karts to sprint cars, and when I was coming up, 
like I was always like, everyone's like, hey, you run go karts or quarter midgets? And I was like, no, nah, man, we run go karts. Hell, because we were way faster in a quarter midget. But I know the quarter midgets on a tighter track and it simulates a faster speed. But what I didn't realize that those quarter midget kids were learning that we didn't learn was like how to set something on the suspension, how to run both pedals, how to do some things on the fly. Like go kart kids, you know, I watched my nephew uh, who's won a bunch of big, big go kart races. I mean, he's won them all. That yeah. I think you can, I think every big major one he's won. He's won Daytona, the Max Nationals, Kahuna, all that shit. He's won. And I think that's great. But I will also watch him go to a certain race, and depending on who he's with, like, he runs bad, and he's just looking, and then, like, he's got this dejected look, and he just thinks he's he's no good or something. And I'm like, but his tire guy missed it. Because there's no more helpless feeling than watching somebody else roll away from you. And that's going to happen in everything, because some people are going to pay better crew chiefs, better teams, you know. If you're running midgets, you got to be in a Keith Coons midget because he's got the best technology and all that. And, and, and I get you're not going to get away from that, and, you know. But – Without sitting here, like I always say, like picking pepper out of fly shit. Yeah. Like, you don't, what go-karts don't teach you, and they didn't teach me, and it took me some time, is it doesn't teach you to run both pedals. It doesn't teach, you are a crash dummy. Like, you are foot under the brake pedal, hold the throttle all the way down, and don't move the steering wheel. But what kids in outlaw carts uh, you know, even quarter midgets and, and, and other forms, uh, TQs, uh, mini sprints, like they're learning like how to, you know, manipulate a race car. And, um, you know, you got these kids who go out there and dominate go-karts their whole life. And then like, Oh, I wonder why I never get a break. And then they get a break and they look like a dumbass because yeah. they go out there and they don't turn the wheel. They don't do some things or like, and it's a shock to them. Cause they're like, I, I win everything. And it's like, well, you're a tired guy. I won everything. And, and and not to take any – there's probably some great drivers. I've seen them come from go-karts and go on and do other things because it does teach you, you know, where to position yourself in a race and how to, you know, do the best you – and driving does matter. Yeah. But go-karts lack so much of – because it's gotten t- – tire dope has messed up go-karting so bad that it has, t- like, gotten away from the fundamentals and teaching you what you need to know. And I get really frustrated with that because – I see these kids who hop into something else, and then it's like, you know, they're like, their mind's blown, and then they can't handle Like, mentally, they can't handle it. Like, they're not the man. They're not – and, like – They go out there and, like, look like a squirrel dick. Yeah, big time. And then they got to do all this stuff. And, like, my kids aren't going to race. I Like, that's just that's – just, that's bad parenting, putting your kids in racing. Like, oh my god! But no, I'm saying, but like, my if my kids were gonna race, I'd rather them run a dirt bike, a four wheeler, or run a go kart in the backyard with 20 pounds of air in the tires all the way around. Like something that don't isn't glued to the racetrack. Something that'll teach them throttle control. Teach them how to keep it under them. Because how we have a buddy of ours that has he has a pavement track and a go kart track. Tony yep. Carino in his backyard. Yep. And how many of you seen these? kick-ass go-kart racers that we, we went over there on like a thursday night to go to just a little backyard yep. dig yep and then all of a sudden you see these kids spinning out and they're i mean they're just looking like looking at they're, their dads like they're like deer in the headlights well, what the like, hell's going on dad to stay I, I went to the corner everybody went that way and i'm in the damn toolies <laughs> yeah like i'm out here i'm out here mowing the back 40 and they're yeah. like trying to figure it out and it's like because they're shell-shocked like they don't get it and it's because it didn't teach them nothing and see and not to like talk you know say anything bad about the kids or anything obviously me and troy are a lot it ain't older their fault than they don't know kids. no better you know we're a lot older than these kids and everything but you know i, I i'm no hero or anything like that i i you know whatever but we got off the pavement track where they were kind of you know taking us to school well they had weight on us and, yeah <laughs> we're a little heavier these days we're yeah. plus size models <laughs> so we go over to the dirt track and they're like running it off in the corner, and you know they're 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 doing this, and then it gets to the center, and then they're trying to catch it. So me and yeah, Troy, no, they never learned. They never learned. And like I said, nothing against the kids. I'm talking bad about the kids, but me and Troy are going out there. The and hell with them kids. We're 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 like rolling. We'll put the that top. old school on that ass. Yeah, we're like rolling the top, and we're rolling by them, and they're like looking at us like, "What the hell?" Like, but that's what we already went through that when we moved to the next level. Yeah, and didn't realize like, man, everything ain't stuck. Yeah, like this ain't like running go karts is like Daytona 
for cup cars. Like, hell, even Danica sat on a pole. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that, well, never mind. No, I <laughs> Continue. Know. I was going to but, but you see what I'm saying, though? Like, you go yeah. run. What's the worst thing you hate running on iRacing? Daytona, Talladega. Go out because it's sitting here. You follow everybody. You try to sit there. Nobody will push me. Dude, that's what go-karting is. I didn't I'm, mean to put that beer up there. Y'all didn't see that. They don't sponsor me. I will not show it. But I'm upset. Like, I just hate it. And, you know, I watch these kids moving to the next level, and I just like what I see from the kids coming out of outlaw carts. And I understand, you know, that's not in every region and this, that, and the other. And I'm not saying don't buy a go-kart because every bit of – every division helps build racing. It just – I hate what it's become. Right. You know, and I, I think that makes me sound old. Yeah. Well, what, what Back I – Back in my day. What I, and I was actually talking to my dad – um about this today because he stopped by and we were he's like you know what are y'all gonna talk about on the show tonight and I I told him that we were thinking about talking about kids and karting and what I mentioned to my dad I said you know kids and karting like it really as far as driving it don't really teach them anything as far as like using both pedals setting it things like that but what it does teach them and me and my dad both agreed on it just being around other, oh yeah, absolutely. other other you moving vehicles, yeah, you know, you ha- learn that. passing somebody, and, and and I mean, as silly as it may sound, but like think about if you put a, a six year old rookie out there, it, it's going to teach them how to set the pace under caution, how how to restart a race, how to, how to time a restart. It, it, it's going to, I mean, and even even as something as elementary as the, the flags. I, there, I, mean, I mean, there are some things you pick up, and I'm saying past junior one. Yeah. It all becomes redundant. Yeah. So <laughs> your kid's better off doing things. I mean, you've seen guys, Jimmy Johnson, uh, what's his name? The funny guy. We talking about very good in cut. Come, coming from. Clint Boyer. Like, from, oh, you're talking about, are you talking about dirt bro. bikes? Yeah, yeah, dirt, yeah. Like, they yeah. learned stuff that had throttle control. And do you think, like, that's what I think was, was good for, like, the Dylan boys. He, uh, you know, Paul Paul made them run modifieds. And, dude, so, like, it teaches you, you know, what to do. And, I mean, I've seen, you know, a lot of these kids, like, they just don't learn how to move a wheel. And, like, you get out there and, and they get into the big car and they're, like, they're afraid to turn the wheel because they were taught, you know, don't you dare turn that, like, Stuff like that. And, I mean, not like I said, I don't want to sit here and beat a dead horse, but I just – I think if you're going to do something, you know, it, you teach them something that that operates both pedals and, and you got to, you know, manipulate the car or vehicle a little bit. Now, I will say this. If you're planning on just running go-karts your whole life and being a professional carter, I mean, and there's guys who have done – done excuse yeah, me, yeah. That done great with that. I mean, uh, you know, Knopf. Guy, take, guys take, like that. I mean, if you want to be a professional carter, then by all means, yeah, go but, to Virginia Tech and learn chemistry. Yeah, like like if, if you're if you're planning on moving, Is that a big thing in Virginia Tech chemistry. I don't know. It sounded oh, God good. Damn, it sounds smart. It sounded so good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but that. but if you're planning on moving on to the next level, with as you know. As far as racing goes, if you're planning on going to a Benalero or planning on going to a legend or anything like that, then I say maybe start them out in a kid card or rookie or something like that and let them just learn how to be on the racetrack. They're not going to learn. Yeah, just let them learn how to be on the racetrack with other people, with other vehicles, how to pass, how to set the pace under There's, yellow. The problem is that some of these go-karts come so much about their daddies. Trying to build clout and then build that trophy. Yeah, my kid won this. My kid won. He turned into a damn soccer mom. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like, yeah, but you ain't teaching your kid nothing. And it's ain't yeah. about you, old man. Yeah, it's about that kid. But teach him something. Yeah, I mean, I'm, no, I'm, that's what I'm, I'm saying. With you on like, that. yeah. But nobody wants to go, you know, every Thursday to somebody's backyard and run, and learn something because you know why they get a trophy for that. My kid ain't got no trophies to feel good about himself. And it's like, I mean, I think you just need to teach a kid, like, hey, man, the long run, what it's about. Is learning it because when you get to the as soon as you step to that next level, all that shit you did in go karts means absolutely nothing. Yeah, you roll into and, and I'm nobody sorry. nobody cares if you won the Little League World Series. And and I, I'm sorry I keep bumping the damn microphone with my headset. I it's our first time. Uh, bear with us here. I'm new. <laughs> I'm new. I don't know what to do. Um. So yeah, I'm with you. I mean, 
you roll into a stock car track, say, oh, well, well, I want a junior big dog. And you're like, hmm. so? You're, Hell's you're, a big dog. The, the big dog. There's this big dog over at, at Jim Bob's trailer. They got a big old pit bull. Like, that's what they I don't mean that. As soon as you step up, it means absolutely nothing. Yeah. So. What's the next topic? I'm over this shit. So are y'all. I guarantee it. They're at home like. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go-kart suck. The end. <laughs> now, there's going to be some people that are pissed. Slap yeah, off they, about that. Because they spent their kids' college fund. He's like, well, I can't even send this son of a bitch to Virginia Tech. <laughs> like. But you know. What I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, oh, this is real. Hey, this is real. Yeah, we got a soundboard, baby. This is real. It looks like he's over there playing Simon. <laughs> so Tetris, baby. So the next topic we we're going to touch on before we wrap things up here. Um, so today is May first, and we're in Florida, and they're talking about running. Some races. You know why they're opening up the Corona on May 4th, right? The what now? They're like turning off that go home May 4th thing or stay home deal. Oh, yeah, because it's single to mile. That's right. But had to make some shit happen. Yeah. That's the kind of mixing that I'm talking about. Yeah. If you want to get some chemical warfare, let's talk about single to mile. <laughs> go ahead. And margaritas, I'm, baby. I'm, I'm good for really throwing shit off course here. Margaritas, baby. Oh, uh, so. Here in Florida, they're talking about running races next weekend and the weekends to come without fans. Well, they've done it uh, in other states. And, you know, I'm for it. Like, obviously, the fans are super important. Yeah. I mean, with, with, I mean without fans, there would be no well, race. Yeah, if nobody's there, I mean, if yeah. nobody's there to watch it, I mean, did it happen? Like, I get it. Like, but, I, I mean, I'm for it because there's people sitting at home, you know, that just are – I mean, we're all watching – I racing on FX. Like we're sitting here yeah. watching fake racing. I mean, who knew? Like I would have to sit here and watch somebody else play a video game, and I'd be like, "Man, this is cool as hell." Like that's how <laughs> bored I am. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're, we're super bored. Like I'll, I'll go to Troy's house, and we will stay there till two in the morning, and we will practice one track on I racing in the same car, and we'll we'll cut, we'll look like, damn, we turned three hundred laps here tonight. Yeah, like, no, it's just <laughs> terrible. But so I mean I'm for it. Um, <laughs> so I I have enough space on the memory card. That yeah. is that that's he probably, bought a Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's probably worse than uh, step leave, it up. Go leave, to five below. That's probably like leaving. That's probably worse than leaving a tire loose when you were. Yeah, yeah. You didn't you put who did, who didn't put enough fuel in the damn car? We were sitting here for two hours. Oh, you know why? Because you were prepping tires and nobody's worried about the damn fuel. No, Did see, shit. We, we were drinking beers. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this could be, <laughs> might have had our own issues here. But anyways, so pretend we're in the same shit. Back to what we're talking about. Like, I'm for this racing without fans um, because I feel like, you know, shit, when you go to the racetrack, you got your wife, your two kids, whatever. It's $20 a pop. You know, assholes need nachos. And whatever else. Daddy, I need cheese fries. I need some cheese fries. It's like, no, you know, you need to run a lap, you fat ass. Get off I race and play outside, kids. <laughs> Quit wearing your own shirt. Why are you doing that, Timmy? God. Gosh. Damn these. it, Bobby. It's just not good. But anyways, I feel like the fans who, if we get to race without fans, you know, and they pay nineteen ninety five. Now there's still going to be some dipshits that – you know, streaming on YouTube or Facebook Live, mm. and they wonder why the, their service gets cut off. It's because, like, I mean, use your head. Like, just have a barbecue with five of your friends, you know. Cook a slab of ribs. No, nah, you a little fish fry. A little so, fish fry. Yeah, throw yeah. some shit on there. Have a good time. And, and just shut your mouth. Yeah. And don't get kicked off for streaming it and trying to, you know, shortchange the racer. Like, be a part of the solution. Yeah. Don't, don't be part of the problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn, that's I, good. Hey, I know. I'm out here. Uh, that's what I do because people. I mean, people want racing right now. I mean, yeah, everybody people, wants racing, and I mean, there, there's just. Uh, I mean, besides the, and the, and they're gonna go back to the track when they can. But if they can't be there, and right it, now we need that hit. Yeah, this is our drug. Because I, I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like, I got away from it. That's why my kids ain't gonna race because I I'm a good parent. I don't want to get them hooked on drugs. I'm relapsing right now, coming back into racing a little bit. You know, I had a little. Not, 
my damn car owners got me hooked back on the racing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to AA meetings. So you're saying racing's a drug? It's bad. I tell you what, racing is it's, it's cheaper to get hooked on drugs. <laughs> I know druggies that got more money than me. You know what I mean? They're out here. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> no, they, there's druggies out here with way more money than racers. Cause we're idiots. Listen, hey, but if you're an idiot like me, give me that racing. <laughs> Just tell me again. Hey, man. Look, I only got $20. I'm going to get some of that racing. I just need a little more of that racing. <laughs> man, look. You feel that? Look, I feel that. Hey, bro. Hey, a pit, a pit pass is 25, man. I got 20, man. Slide me five. Bro, man. hey, look. How about this? We'll go half. He's on an armband. Slide that thing through the gate. Yo-ho ain't even looking. Hey. He's, he don't know. He's he's out there running around the infield like, like Sergeant Slaughter. Thinks he's goddamn Ric Flair. Like, you know what I mean? We're going to. We're going to roll these pit passes on there. Hey, all five of us can get in here. Hey, hot, sit down. Duck. <laughs> Everybody under that blanket. Look, hey, you better not go to the grandstand side. You ain't getting back in. You hear me? <laughs> hey, that's just how it goes. But, so, I mean. No, hang on, hang on. Racing is the worst drug that I've ever d- done. done. Ra- ra- <laughs> I wouldn't know. Shit. All I do is race and go to Sunday school. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Listen, I ain't done a whole lot, but. Race is the worst drug I've ever done. I need that needle in my arm all the time, and I and, and even I like from, from the from the spectator aspect of it. I mean, like, like I said before, when when they're allowed to go back to the track, they're going to go. But if if they can watch it at the house for nineteen ninety five, I mean, they're going to do it. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, it's no different than watching an away game. And I mean, and like I said before, we need the fans. Yeah, I mean, the fans really. They bring an aspect to it. Like, the fans don't know what they do for racing. Like, and as a racer, when you get out and when you win, or even when you don't win, people come down there and they just want to be near the car and everybody's in the pit. Like, that's all great. But right now, we don't have that. So, this is the best we could do. Right. You know, and it, I mean, we're... Something's it, better than nothing. Take it back to the old school. Like, I mean, racers race. That's what yeah. we do. And and you'd race for free. Damn sure. We, we basically pay to race. Like, this is the only yeah. sport in the world where it pay, you got to pay to play. Yeah. Like, I mean, Peyton Manning don't have to pay for an armband to go play. <laughs> so, I mean, well, I got to pay for an armband to go there, and I might get thrown out. And they might, Yoho might keep my money. He's done that. I love you, Yoho. I ain't just messing with you. And I'm, always, <laughs> I'm just trying to get on uh, Yoho Half Throttle or whatever he calls it. <laughs> What's he called? What's yo, 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 Break check. Wide open. Yeah. Yo, 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 wide open. Yoho complete start, restart because cause you jumped. Come yo. on, Yoho. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? But see, what what fans are? This is how much people want racing. We love watching the the stuff Yoho does. He's great for racing, the stuff like that. Um, and hopefully, that's what this show does. Hopefully, is I mean we're just we're racers hooked on it, just trying to put out some content. We like to talk about some of the bullshit y'all talk about, and we have to be politically correct and thank Tide and Downey and and, and Tampax. It, you know, we don't have to do none of that here. We got four to three cars today here in a tampon 200. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're lucky to get 43 cars out there. But, I mean. They can only start 40, by the way. But you're just here to race. And then hopefully we put out some stuff y'all appreciate. Uh, am I wrapping this up? Did I just take over? Yeah. yeah. I, did, I just slid you for the – you're supposed to be the MC. I'm just oh, I'm yeah. just the talent. You just threw me a slider line. I did. Right I'm there. out here. You, hey. you, just, you, just, you just hit the slider line on me for the lead at Knoxville. That's what you did. Hey, shout out David Gravel, not some champion. That's my homie. So, yeah, I mean, just to to kind of play off what Troy said, I mean, we're really just here for for the racers. I mean, local and and abroad. I mean, we 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 want to tie in some local guys to it. Um, you know, we're the local guys to to Central Florida. Uh, we've got a lot of buddies here in Central Florida that that would would love to come on the show and help we're us out. We're trying to go worldwide. Wide, wide, wide. What? Prestige worldwide, bench racing worldwide, wide, 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 wide. No, so, that's hopefully that's what the show does. It covers it covers regional and like we'll get some national guys on here. We know. Yeah, I mean we we've got a we couple got, guys lined we up. We got to build some clout. Yeah, we, we got gotta build, <laughs> we got a couple guys lined up, but but we don't want to we don't want to get too big for our britches, and we don't want to you know. I mean we're gonna be huge for, for lack of a better term. Forget where we this came from. Good. We we want to you know we want to include the local guys um, because you know without them. We're gonna get some little kids on here too. Yeah. Oh yeah. For we're sure. Gonna, we're I mean, gonna let them talk their noise. Like I mean, w- without the local guys though, the show wouldn't even get off the ground because they they know us personally, so they're gonna watch. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah. So 
So the, the yeah, local but. guys hopefully will watch this and help us get this thing off the ground and help us get it going. And then, you know, we, we've got some guests lined up. Once um, we get our act together, get a damn Twitter. Uh, and, a Twitter or a Twatter? Once or? we get a little, hey, Yoho's got a Twitter. Once we get a MySpace page rolled, you guys can. You know, hey, follow us on MySpace. Our 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 profile song is High Tech Rednecks. Yeah, once you so. get some deals, <laughs> like you know, you guys shoot us some topics here because we're gonna. Obviously, you can see we're, we're reaching here. We're running out of shit to say, and it's episode one. This is all we got. So, <laughs> well, we don't very have short list of notes. But, I mean, so, we get some stuff going here. We, stuff y'all want to, and the more controversial. Yeah. better like we we want to turn up the heat yeah we don't care i mean you, here's the we thing. want to put people on you blast. watch this show you're either going to see us at the racetrack and love us and want to buy a, a bench racing t-shirt if we ever get that far and we our didn't. damn artwork guy gets us a logo we or got, you're gonna go. you're gonna see us walking through the gate and y'all are gonna want to get haters some, and assholes yeah, talk there, about there's nothing. some assholes you talk about my v8 bomber boy come here i'm gonna kick your goddamn ass that's how it's gonna be so it's gonna be one or the other i mean we already got your view though if you watch this far. So, oh we'll yeah, no, see you later. I, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Hopefully next week we got some better shit to talk about. Uh, is that it? Is that what we do? What we yeah. Do? How do we wrap this? We have a. Do we have an outro? Uh, yeah, we have an outro. I got it queued up here on the top left button. So, uh, we appreciate y'all uh watching. Uh, we don't have uh social medias to plug yet, but we are gonna work on those probably this weekend, maybe after the show. But we are already quite a few drinks deep, so. That might be a Saturday. He still got to figure out how to edit this. This may not air till June. Yeah, it might not air till August because I got to figure out how to edit this thing. But we got to get some uh, social media pages going. We're gonna have a Facebook. We're gonna have a a, a Twitter. We're gonna have a YouTube. We're gonna have a MySpace. We're gonna, I'm just kidding about the MySpace. We're gonna have all that stuff. We're gonna launch it. Uh, He's probably kidding about most of that shit. Uh, probably, probably. It's probably one and done. Might never do it again. But we appreciate y'all okay. watching. Uh, we're going to get off here. We're going to go in the back and probably watch the rest of this thing or rewatch this and drink some more beer. We are our biggest fan. We're, we lie. We wear our own shirt. <laughs> Troy wears his own shirt. Uh, I've seen it. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, y'all. We appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Uh, drugs are bad. Dr- drugs are bad, but racing is the best drug in the world. And this has been Bench Racing with Brian Danforth with Detroit to Care. Cheers. We got these stools. Mm. I think that was our best one. Mm-hmm.